Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I am bringing you a video that a lot of people have been requesting. I get so many comments constantly about people saying, you know, hey, what's your shotgun? Where'd you get your shotgun? What's your build? And so today's video, I'm going to share all those things with you, as well as I have another special surprise <laughs> and even an even more OP shotgun than what I previously had. Uh, as you, If you can imagine, this okay uh basically somebody gave me a shotgun his name is derpy josh thanks derpy josh for the epic shotgun uh this thing is just stupid op and i wanted to bring i mean the other one was already op and that one shotting everything and this one's even better believe it or not and uh the, i think this is gonna be amazing because when those PvP servers come out, I'm going to be playing on them, and I'm super excited about it. So, this video is going to feature those things. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me know what you think of the build and the shotgun. If you have any suggestions or tweaks that you would like me to make to the build or you think would be better, I I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So, let's go ahead. Let's get in the action, and uh, I'll show you guys what I got going on. Okay, so the shotgun that I've been using is an instigating hardened pump action shotgun. And here it is right here. The thing is uh, pretty beastly I love it it's a great gun and uh, basically th this thing has bullets explode for area damage and double damage if target is full health okay so that makes it really powerful I was gifted and and honestly the instigating part is what might make this thing better than the one that I just got and the range is okay so the range is 42 the accuracy is 59 and uh, does 713 base damage then you add in the instigating part and so you're getting that double damage if they're full health and uh, what I was gifted was this thing right here a double vigorous double barrel shotgun double ammo capacity bullets explode for area damage and 90% reduced weight it does 989 base damage so it doesn't have the instigating part it still has really good range and the accuracy is okay so this is the thing though this is a double barreled uh double barrel shotgun and watch how fast this thing shoots this is what i think makes this thing pretty op <laughs> how insane is that like it's just crazy i don't ever need to shoot more than one shot Really, I don't. But the fact that that thing can do that is pretty insane. Now, this thing can also shoot pretty fast. Uh, not nearly as fast, but I mean, you, I mean, what situation am I going to need to shoot that that quickly uh, with the other one? So, I, I'm very curious to know, uh, like, how is this? I mean, look at the condition on this thing too, versus this one. So we can shoot a ton before having to worry about, uh, you know, having an issue. So I one shot at that behemoth and I want with the other shotgun. So I want to test and see if I can one shot it with this one. I'm assuming I can. It does so much damage, but the difference, I mean, really, I can one shot everything. And then I wonder if I can actually one shot Scorch Beats faster because it can shoot faster. And so not one shot but like you know take down a scorch beast faster than than the other than the other shotgun because it can shoot so much faster and so we'll go ahead and uh i'll test this thing out and see if it's actually possible to first of all one shot this behemoth that's down here and then i have to find a scorch beast in order to test that as well but i think it'll be just as op if not better because of the rate of fire but I honestly, you would think that this thing wouldn't be able to, this, this wouldn't be able to fire as fast, but you know, obviously it's pretty, okay, it's still, I was going to say, is it dead? It's not dead. It's alive, but it's all weird. Okay. I can one shot the thing. I can still one shot it. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I kind of actually like this thing better than the other one. Uh, let, let me know which, which one do you guys like more do you like this one more or do you like the other one more? I, I, I I'm a fan of this one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've been using that other one for so long And, and I'm not even like that low of health either. I need to actually lower my health down a little bit uh, But obviously I'm not gonna be able to do it as well because of uh, 
being being in this thing i just have to let it tick down a bunch i think to get the rads up i don't want to i don't want to get out of my power armor because then it'll tweak my my weight because i got you know i got the thing where if, when you're in your when you're in the power armor uh, you can the excavator. You can go up to 425 when you re-log re in. So yeah, this thing's got double ammo capacity, um, which is what makes it really nice, you know, and the fire rate. This thing has got the instigating aspect, but I think it can still one-shot almost everything. And so this this will go up to like I think over a thousand damage once I uh, get my get my rads over 30 percent um so the build that i've got loaded up i'll tell i'll talk to you about my build here in a second but i just wanted to do some do some quick testing with this thing come on we're almost there get the 30 percent so we can see because i think it's i think it's over a thousand the more the more rads i have obviously the better i have with yeah 1032 with adreno so 1,032 damage. So 1k damage. I know some people have better, better, better weapons than this. I understand that. A better shotgun even. But uh, you know, this is what I. This is it. Okay. This is a level 45 one. Okay. So let's go back to my base and let's talk about my build. All right. So my build is. I need. It's a little messed up right now because I have to reallocate some points around. Uh, but basically, when I first started out my character, I was focusing on rifle builds, like a rifle stealth build. And since then, I've changed it. So I have a lot of rifle stuff still. And I need to tweak points. Basically, I need to lower my strength. I need to lower perception. I need to lower endurance. I need to up charisma. I need to up intelligence. Uh, agility by one and then luck by two. I will post the... Uh, I will put up on the screen the build that I'm working towards, but currently this is the build that I have. Basically, the reason why I have so much uh, damage is because of a few different things. Now, I covered all these in my other video where I talked about my shot, my last shotgun build video. But basically, I've got the, all the shotgunner perks maxed out, okay? And then I do have scatter shot, which... Uh, Right now, I do have shatter, scatter shot, but I'm going to get rid of this because this uh, isn't as important to me. Like the reload's not that important to me since I can one shot everything, and so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the rifleman perk. I'm basically going to um, have maxed out skeet shooter. I'm going to keep my grenade grenadier perk because that works the explosive damage works towards your build as well so you have twice the radius which could be good or bad because you can like you know just like kill yourself essentially but skeet shooter uh has improved accuracy and spread and so that's what's going to like uh you know like cluster and get your shot better and then my endurance all i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of all of these and i'm actually going to go with radical because radical gives you you know the greater your rads the greater your strength and so that's going to just help in a couple different ways especially like for you know i do i am going to use melee as well and so uh working to i'm working towards that and then i'm going to have a travel agent maxed out tenderizer and maxed out lone wanderer because tenderizer makes your target receive seven percent more damage for 10 seconds after your attack so you're like just adding more damage on top of what you're already doing so tenderizer actually is a really good perk to have and then lone wanderer obviously you take uh less damage and you get more ap regen which isn't all too important to me for the ap regen but just taking the less damage is what i want since i'm such a i'm gonna have such lower health and then uh i'm gonna have maxed out demo expert uh, i'm gonna have power user maxed out power user because power using you know for, fusion cores last longer which really i don't need to have maxed out but you know whatever uh gunsmith i'm gonna have gunsmith so my guns break l uh, a lot less and then uh nerd rage which gives you while well below 20 percent health you gain 40 percent. actually this is the point of this is the point of this is my only issue right now okay because i Basically, what I need to do is I need to get Serendipity under luck. Serendipity gives you, while below 30% health, you gain a 45% chance to avoid damage. I do not have that right now, and I'm working towards that. And until I can get that, I need to have Born Survivor, where it auto-uses a stim pack. 
And so this is really important to me right now, but eventually I'm hoping I can move away from that and then I can actually utilize Nerd Rage and Serendipity. Because Nerd Rage gives you uh, damage resist, increased damage, and AP regen. So this is the only thing like I'm, I'm kind of having an issue with right now is because until I can get serendipity under luck, I can't really util I can't really use this. I need to have born survivor or I'm going to die because I'm not used to using stim packs and I'll forget to use stim packs and I can't use them quick enough. Whereas with born survivor, it auto uses one, so you don't have to worry about it. So then, uh, basically under agility, I'm gonna have action boy maxed out. Uh, Max Enforcer, which is where your shotguns gain a 15% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple a limb, which is really important, I think, for, like, Scorch Beast so they don't fly away. Uh, and then also Max Adrenaline, which is, you know, you gain damage, which is super important. And then under Luck, I've got Bloody Mess, which is what helps me do so much damage. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode into a gory red paste. And then I have, I'm going to have Serendipity and Starch Genes. And I also need to be farming more mutations. And so that is the build that I am working towards. And, but basically, my only point of contention right now is until I get Serendipity, I'm like kind of in a, in a world of trouble. Now, also, there is another kind of uh, problematic thing with this build too. If they ever, if they ever nerf, the explosive damage from shotguns, which I imagine they will at some point, which will make a lot of people mad, but I imagine it will because it they're probably within loose ruins of the game. Then I'm going to have some issues. Uh, as long as they don't take away the explosive, explosive aspect to, you know, potential two shotguns, I'll be okay. But if they ever do, then I'm going to have some issues. And so... Um, yeah, that's the build that I'm working towards. It's super, it's super strong and super OP, and it really revolves around adrenal reaction. So if you guys don't know what adrenal reaction is, basically you get increased weapon damage at lower HP, and then you get a max HP is lowered as well. But this is what makes the build really strong. It's not that big of a boost, but it, you know, the lower your health, the better it is, and so the more damage you can do. So that's my build. That's the shotgun that I'm using, the shotguns that I'm using, and I'm actually really interested to know which build, do you, which one do you think is better? I like the fact that this one reloads so fast, but I also like the fact that this one has instigating because if they're at full HP, but that's the thing. If they're not at full HP, then you know you don't get that double damage and so um yeah i'm curious to hear your thoughts on it uh it is also interesting that this has better range than this one but it could also be it was a due to the sight i think and then this one does have increased accuracy so i don't know i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts on what you which one you think is better but anyway that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoy it's a shorter video uh, it's not really that much shorter but it's uh not as much stuff going on in this video but i did want to make it because Everyone kept asking, and so uh, there you go. That's the build. I'm also going to try to find a new base location. I like this area, but there's not enough room for my water purification. I need more purified water. I did think about going down there, but I don't know about that area. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. Subscribe if you guys are new and you're interested in more Fallout content. I'll see you guys in the next one.